What's happening everybody? Welcome back to Culinary Fitness. I'm Chef Dennis and right now I'm gonna make some stuffed tilapia with some crab and shrimp stuffing, okay? So the stuffing I'm gonna use is, I just made a video on um, crab cakes, right? And these are paleo crab cakes, which is great. These are gluten, this is a gluten-free recipe, okay? So I made an extra of the um, the crab cake mixture. So we want to use that mixture and put it inside the tilapia, right? Why recreate it when you already have some and it's excellent, okay? So it's like eating a crab cake wrapped with tilapia. I mean, what's better than that? So let me get started here. Uh, so this right here is our fresh tilapia, okay? And what I want to do is I have some coconut flour here, okay? So I, I just want to take this and I wanna sprinkle the plate with a little bit of coconut flour. This coconut flour is like gold, okay? It's pretty expensive, but again, it's coconut. It's 100% coconut. There's no gluten, no wheat in there, okay? So I wanna do that, and that later on is gonna help us make a nice sauce, okay? So you see how I have it? The way that I have it, there's this brown streak that goes on the uh, fish here, and that's the bloodline. And it's really kind of undesirable to see when it's on your plate. So we're gonna put that, have that up now. And then we're gonna take our crab mixture. And I'm gonna have the link to that, uh, that crab mixture, uh, crab cakes, right along with this video. So don't worry about that, okay? So I'm just gonna put a little bit of that in here. You see how that's sitting there? I'm just gonna, I'm gonna take my dish here, because we're gonna do this in the oven, which I have on at 400 degrees right now. And we just wanna take it, and just give it a quick roll like that. And you see how that is? See how easy that was? Very easy, okay? So that's how it sets. If you feel like it's not sitting well or falling apart, you can take a toothpick and just stick it right down. And afterwards, you can take the toothpick right out, okay? I'll show you that in a little bit. So I also have some white wine here. So I'm just gonna stick this right on the bottom. Not too much maybe about a quarter cup or so. Yeah, let's use a little more, okay? So now I'm just gonna just stick this in the oven just as it is, okay? I don't wanna overcomplicate this. You see how simple that is? And I'll show you how we're gonna finish that when that comes out of the oven, okay? That's gonna take about seven or eight minutes and I'll be right back. All right, cool, so it's been about seven or eight minutes now and we're gonna go in there and take this fish out and make our sauce. Nice. So you see how nice and beautiful that is? It's starting to get brown on the end. You don't want it to be overcooked, all right? Because then the fish will come out a little bit mushy, okay? So let's take our fish. We're gonna put it on the side there. I'm just gonna drip some of the liquid that was left over into the pan. And then I'm gonna put a little bit more wine in, okay, so what we want to do, you want this wine to cook just for one minute, and then what we're going to do is we're going to add our lemon juice now, okay, so I have this strainer here, and we don't want seeds in our sauce, I don't know about you, but I don't want seeds in my sauce, so I'm going to squeeze the lemon into here, that was just the juice from a half a lemon along with the wine, okay, it's gonna give a nice acidity to this because the fish and then the crab meat stuffing that's inside the fish is really sweet and rich and nutty. So this is gonna, this sauce is almost like a, a sour sauce to balance the sour with the sweetness of the fish. It's really delicious, okay? So um, <clears throat> now what we're gonna do is we're gonna, after that's reduced for a couple seconds, turn our heat up a little bit here. Now I'm gonna put a little pat of butter in here this is totally optional. It gives it a richer, fuller flavor sauce. And just let this melt. This butter's gonna melt here. And while that's going, I'm gonna take our fish out of the pan and put it right on our plate here. Really, you should serve this with some nice rice or asparagus or broccoli or something. I took the toothpick out. You see how it held its form perfectly, okay? So we're just gonna let this go. I'm gonna sprinkle, and one thing I should have done before I cooked, I wanted to sprinkle this with a little Old Bay. It gives it a nice 
flavor. Old Bay, if you ever cook any fish in your house ever, you should always have a can of Old Bay around. It is just like the staple. It gives fish an incredible flavor and there's never anything else like it. So, okay, so we have our fish that's cooked perfectly. We have our lemon wine butter sauce here. This is also where you can add some capers, but I don't want any capers on this dish. I want to keep it simple. So I'm putting in some parsley here, right? A little fresh cracked pepper, and just a tiny little pinch of salt, and we're ready to go, okay? So I'm just gonna pour this right over the top of this fish. And look how nice that is, okay? And then we're gonna take a couple lemon wedges in case you want more lemon. And we'll take a little bit of parsley. We'll just kind of stick that in the side there. And there you have it. So stuffed tilapia with a crab and shrimp stuffing. This is really delicious. It's really not that hard. It is a little bit more labor intensive than uh, some of the other things that I've been doing lately, but it is well worth it. It's very delicious. So look, if you have any questions, let me know. I love to help. Have a great day today, guys.